Drake might see this and um in case he does. Hi. It's, it's, it's a sad day as a Philadelphian. So Meek just basically decided one night to just drink everything in his house and do every drug that he had. And he went completely off on Twitter. All of a sudden, in 140 characters, it seemed like everything just went. Meek Mill's in a no-one situation. And stop comparing me to Drake. Who was comparing you to Drake? Who just comes out of left field and says, yo, you know what? Drake sound a lot like Meek Mill in this last one. Who the f says that? I feel like if Meek was being compared to Drake, that's actually a compliment. Meek said that Drake doesn't write his own raps, but I feel like a lot of entertainers aren't how they are in real life. Like I saw Captain America in Times Square and he was a lot fatter than he is in the movies. Drake don't even write his own raps. Listen, don't f up a good thing. If that ain't writing his raps, let somebody else keep writing them for him. He just did a song on your album, and if you saw him writing then, why you didn't stop it? You were like, you know what, he don't write his rhymes. I'm gonna go and put this Rico song on my album and shit, and then I'm gonna hate on him after that. And even if Drake does have a, a, a ghostwriter, I need to find him. Like, holla at him. Let's go find him together, because collectively he's ghostwriting in a whip full of hits that we need to give out. Who told you that he didn't write his rhyme? Was it Nicki? I feel like Nicki's way more thugged out than Meek Mill is right now. I think this relationship is totally going to Meek's head and he's losing his goddamn mind, man. I think he was hurt. I think that was emotional because Meek can't see Drake on lyrics. Come on, Meek has one great song. Now everybody's calling Meek saying, hey, this ain't what you want. Forget that, just tell him you're sorry. Don't even respond back. People will forget it the same way they forgot about Plies. There's no reason for this man to be so angry, yo. Like, you got the girl already. You had the number one album. You just went gold. Like, you are literally at the top of your career. Six months ago, you were in jail, bro. It can be way worse than being this angry. Funk Flex had to go and sashay into this whole If you were aligned last, this time last year, right after Summer Jam, Flex is saying, oh, I'm gonna end Nicki Minaj's career and we'll never play another record with her again. <laughs> that didn't last. Funk Master Flex lost all credibility when he stood up for Mr. C. He was like, yo, be clear, Hot 97, no gay <laughs> shit, go down up here. <laughs> I know everything. Next week he was like, it's a sad day, New York. Mr. C is sucking <laughs> Then earlier this year, he was like, oh, Jay-Z, I'm gonna end your career and we're never gonna play another record again. And you gotta... <laughs> That didn't, that didn't last. last. Essentially, we got set up for the biggest jig in history. That was two hours I wish in my life that I can get back. All right, Monday night, seven o'clock. We playing the disc record, Meek Mill, Untitled versus <laughs> Drake Charged Up. Monday night comes, two no hours record. in, nothing. So at two o'clock in the morning, I actually got a text message and they was just like, yo, Ray, it's a petition to get Flex like, like out of here. So I didn't even read the petition. I just went to it automatically and I signed. I signed a petition, bro. I signed it. We gotta get you out of here, man. I ain't go that far. I feel like Drake automatically wins just by default from success and just life. I'm charged up. Think you about to starve us? I I, I never heard a, a diss record so soothing as, as charged up in my life. You know, me can't go toe to toe lyrically with Drake. Drake be saying shit I ain't even never heard before. Back to back is ridiculous. He got the Midas touch, just like he said in back to back and whatnot. You know what, people be getting jealous of that, man. Don't hate him because you ain't him. The cover art was disrespectful. You are gonna come for me. You're on your girlfriend's tour, which is like. It was levels to that. Like it was like, it's like, it was like intellectual terrorism. The Blue Jays played the Phillies that day. I don't know if people knew that Drake had it like that because everybody's always trying to make fun of him for being sensitive, which is my favorite quality about Bay. You don't want to with me because I will really humble you and it might be over for you. We know you can beat Drake ass straight up in a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight, but can you whoop his ass lyrically? Uh, don't worry, I'm away. Hell no! Rap battles are just like boxing and styles make fights, yo. And this style doesn't just fit, it doesn't fit Meek right now. I wish you could throw panties at a rap battle because Drake would have all my panties. Philly can't lose to Canada. It's the whole Canada, the entire thing. Unless you got Ether, Meek, or unless you got Takeover, I suggest you just slide back into Nicki's because this is not looking good for you at all. If you're Meek Mill, you go in your closet, you pull out that dark green or black dicky suit that you used to wear back in 04. You bring out the fresh pair of butters. You grow your braids back tonight. And you let them know what we do and what Philadelphia does.